So today we're going to do a really simple project. Um, I've got these rocks. These are actually from my honeymoon. We found them on the beach. That were really, they were really interesting, and we took them home. And I've decided to make them into picture holders. I'm going to put pictures from our honeymoon. But really, you can use this for any type of card holder. It could be um, appetizer or entrees at an, um, you know a party that you're having, where you have stuff labeled. It could be table numbers for a wedding. You can put. Um, pictures if you go to sh different types of shows um you know say I, I studied jewelry it can be either to show off business cards or um prices there's tons of different things that you can do with this and it doesn't have to always be a rock you can get really creative but once you get the technique of how to make this part up here and and if you have something that's heavy enough this part down here there are a lot of different applications. So we'll go over real quick how to do this base part right here. Okay, so got your rock, I know that one. You need something for the base. It doesn't have to be a rock or something heavy. Just know that if it's something lighter, you're gonna have to make the this part shorter to offset um, the difference in weight. I have got 18 gauge uh, galvanized steel wire. I got this at the hardware store. It's super cheap. You don't need to go to Michael's and spend a lot of money on this. Um, and then I've got two other, three other things. I've got a mandrel. Um, basically, you're going to need something that's similar to this in shape. It can be um, a pen, a pencil, the spoon of a ladle, I mean, the, the uh, handle of a ladle, anything that's kind of this, this cylinder shape. Um, nippers to nip any of the excess wire. Um, and then pliers. Okay, so what we do first is take a length of wire okay put it underneath the rock and then pull up and have the meat and just make sure it's in the center of the rock okay I'm giving myself a little bit of extra room here okay um I'm cutting off excess so probably I'm probably gonna cut it Maybe right about there. So, I've got enough to wrap around the rock, and then I've got maybe mm, six inches of extra right here. Okay, so this is super simple. You take where, about where the two of my wires are meeting, you pinch it with the pliers. Make sure you get both of them. This wire is kind of stiff, so um, it may give you a, hard, a little bit of a hard time, but you'll get it. So you're pinching it, see? And then I'm just twisting. And this will tighten up the wire. Um, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna twist a little, pinch a little bit from the top. If you twist too much, it might actually break the wire. Let's just be aware of that, but just keep twisting. It's a nice twist. Um, this will give the, the base of the wire stability too, so that when it it doesn't like keel over when it's holding your picture. Okay, so we have got a nice little twist right here. I'm going to nip the extra and just, it's extra, toss it aside. Okay, and then I'm going to fix this kink. Okay, so that kind of fixed the kink a little bit. You don't have to be too... And you can see the wire is on there. It is not... I can't move it. It's not going anywhere. So now you have this. Oops. See? It's all twisted. Okay. So now, decide how far up you want the actual picture to um, rest. You're going to take... Put your finger against the... Uh, the wire put it on the front side and you're going to wrap your wire once and twice okay when it crosses at the bottom you can see right here this is what we got I'm going to nip it right here at the bottom okay and then I'm going to create this more of a right angle there we go. And a little bit more excess right here. 
Rip off. Okay, look at that. Nice round circle. This is this is I mean it's, it's nice and rigid. It's gonna hold the picture nice and steady. Okay. Choose your card, your picture, what have you. Slide it right in there. Voila. There you go. It's holding it. Let me pan up a little bit. It is holding it perfectly. It's not going anywhere. I mean, it's, it's on there. Um, and you can, of course, if you want it, if you'd rather have the picture facing this way rather than this way, you can just turn the cord, the, um, the wire and you will have it facing the way you want it to. Um, like I said, this has multiple applications. Sometimes you may not be able to twist the bottom. You may not, um, you may just have to, you know, either puncture a hole, drill a hole into whatever you have and uh, glue it in. But this part right here is crucial to keep your picture or whatever it is, a piece of paper standing upright. Um, and so, you know, you can put it in, in cork, um, the, the cute little birch chunks that you see in a lot of rustic type weddings. If you drill a hole or puncture a hole, this can sit right in there. Um, styrofoam blocks, you can cover those or texturize those all you need. That would be a great application for this as well. Um, you could even, you know, have have things that are weighted. So say you have a, a vase and you have the, um, the marbles in it. You can toss this here in the center along with some flowers and you've got a pretty little arrangement with the table number on it. So, um, Quick, simple wire twisting. Um, you'll have most of these tools you, sh you should have around the house. You don't need necessarily one of these. You can use anything that's this kind of um, uh, shape, just as long as you want it smooth. Um, a pencil actually might not be best because it has the little, um, I think they're octagons. Anyway, so there you go. Um, simple, quick picture holder, and I hope you like it. Thanks.